Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're gonna be talking about the distributive property. And the distributive property is such a critical property for those of you out there that are studying algebra. And uh, a lot of students really don't uh, fully under understand or appreciate the distributive property. So I wanna talk about some common mistakes that students tend to make and give you a couple um, examples on why the distributive property is such a cool property and an absolutely uh, must know property if you want to be successful in algebra. So what I have here is the beginning of the distributive property. So I have A times B plus C, what is this equal to? Well, of course, you would have to know the distributive property and apply it. So if you know the full distributive property, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. Then I'm going to go over three specific mistakes that you want to avoid with this particular property. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so here we have A times B plus C. So what is that equal to in algebra? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. So here is the distributive property. So we have A times B plus C is equal to AB plus AC. Okay, so hopefully you got this right. Matter of fact, if you did get this right, let's give you a nice little happy face in A plus a 100% and a few stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you know a thing or two about the distributive property. Now again, you don't really um, you know, uh, kind of see the distributive property in this way outside of when you f uh, first learn about the distributive property, but basically, this property comes up over and over again. Anytime you are trying to multiply uh, a number to a sum or difference. Let's take a look at a couple quick examples. So if I have like two times y plus nine and you wanna simplify this in algebra, well, you have to use the distributive property. If you have x times, let's say, uh, x uh, plus uh, two, uh, again, this would be an application for the distributive property. And if I have x minus 2, uh, again, we're talking about the distributive property. And uh, if you have, let's say, I'm just kind of making something up. How about 4 times x squared plus x minus uh, 6? Again, an application of the distributive property. So you need to understand this. But uh, over decades of teaching mathematics, there seems to be some common mistakes that students make. Let's go ahead and start covering these right now. Okay, so first things first, let's just kind of um, um, get a real appreciation of the distributive property. So here is a real basic example. So here I have 2 times 30. Of course, 2 times 30 is 60. Now, we could write 2 times 30 this way. We can put 2, and then we could put like a little 30 right next to it in uh, parentheses. That means uh, multiplication 2 times 30. Of course, the answer is 60. Now, what I'm going to do is break up this 30, okay, right here, and let's just break it up in some manner, okay? So I'm going to say, well, let's let 30 be the same thing as uh, 20 plus 10. Of course, 20 plus 10 is 30. So we're going to do the same prompt. 2 times 30, of course, again, is 60. So 2 times 30 is 60. But this time, we're going to take that 30 and break it up as 20 and 10. Now I could break up 30 in all sorts of uh, ways. I can put this as 15 plus 15. I could do this do this as 40 minus 10. It doesn't make a difference, but we're going to um, just kind of use this as a quick example of why the distributive property is awesome. Okay, so again, this is gonna be two times 30, but this time 30 we're writing it writing as 20 times 10. Instead of this multiplication right here, let's just kind of put that to right here. So this is the same thing as just writing it this way. So again, 2 times 30. Don't get confused. So here I have 2 times 30 uh, or 20 plus 10. Okay, so the distributive property states that whatever this number is right here, let's go back up here and take a look at it. This A, okay, that's a, a value. You can distribute it, okay, to these inner uh, value. So this would be A. So 
uh, this is going to be, we're going to take this A, we're going to multiply by B, so that's going to be AB, and then this is an addition problem, so we're going to keep that plus there, and take that A and multiply it by that C, so we'll have AC. But let's go ahead and see this in action. So this is going to be 2 right there. We're going to multiply it by 20. So we'll put that right there, 2 times 20. We'll get back to that in a second, plus 2 times 10. Okay, so now let's do this number crunching, 2 times 20. That is 40 plus uh, uh, 2 times 10, which, of course, is 20. 40 plus 20 is 60. It is the same answer. Okay, so again, the uh, this derivative property is another way to do multiplication. And uh, again, we can um, uh, kind of basically take a value and break it up in all sorts of different ways uh, in various sums or differences. Okay, but this is um, where you absolutely need to understand uh, the, uh, the distributive property in algebra it could be because you work with a ton of expressions with a number outside of parentheses. So uh, before I show you this mistake, why don't you go ahead and pause the video and see if you can actually do this if you want to kind of, uh, you know, take a quick pop quiz. Now, these are not difficult problems. I'm just kind of highlighting some common mistakes, especially for students when they're just kind of first learning algebra. But uh, here is the first mistake that I've seen uh, through the years. Okay, so here we're going to take this 3 and we're going to multiply it by that 4x. So what is that? 3 times 4x is 12x. Okay, so here is the mistake. A lot of students will, of course, they're not kind of uh, putting these little arrows like this. They're kind of doing this in their minds. So they go, oh, okay, 3 times 4x plus 2, that would be uh, 12x plus 2. Okay, I've seen this. Hundreds of thousands of times, I don't know about hundreds of thousands, but certainly thousands of times I've seen this mistake. Now, what is this error? Okay, well, this error is uh, the student in mind is kind of like, oh, I know I need to multiply this number to these terms, but they just go and they multiply by the first term. I don't know why that is. I'm pretty sure I was making this mistake way back in the early 1980s when I was first learning algebra, but here, they're not following through and taking this uh, value and multiplying by all the terms and values inside the parentheses, okay? So in other words, right here, they would go, okay, 3 times 4, that's 12x plus 2. Unfortunately, that is incorrect, and you would end up with a sad face. you got to multiply this value times uh, all the terms on the inside, and there could be more than one term. So be careful uh, when you apply the distributive property that you multiply to everything, okay? So again, I don't know why uh, students make this mistake. They just tend to do, uh, make this particular kind of error uh, when they're first learning the distributive property. Let's move on to a second mistake, very common uh, indeed, is working with negative values, okay? Again, um, I'm going to go ahead and give you an opportunity to do this before I show you how to do this correctly. So the second mistake is students get confused with these uh, negative signs, right? So like in this particular problem, they might do something like this. So negative 5 times 4x, they might go, okay, that's going to be negative 20x. And then they get confused what to do with these signs right here. And they might uh, leave this as minus uh, 10, okay? So they have the right idea, but the signs are incorrect. This is incorrect right here. So if you wrote this... Uh, you would be unfortunately wrong. We have to give you a little sad face, but let's go ahead and address this right now. Okay, so a good approach when you are when you see a problem like this, if you can't kind of um, uh, you know stay in, in control of the problem, and I don't mean that in a kind of a bad way, but I, in terms of like, well, if you can't really see exactly what's going on, if you tend to make errors with the disturbed property, do this. So here we have a minus sign. Just make this a plus negative value, okay? So again, I'm going to do this right here. So just like if you have like uh, 9 minus 12, all right, what you can do is take this minus sign and make this plus negative 12. So 9 minus 12 is the same thing as 9 plus a negative 12. It's a good technique to avoid errors with the distributive property. So this 4x minus 2 then go plus negative. So now... 
you have a very obvious number and value here that you're going to use the, uh, use the distributor property on. So now let's go ahead and take this negative five, multiply it by this four X that gives us negative 20 X and negative five times a negative two, a negative times a negative is positive. Okay. So again, watch those negative signs. Very, very common. Okay. Now there's other mistakes uh, that I could have thrown in here, but I'm just going to kind of keep it down to three errors. But these first two are probably the most common errors that I've uh, seen uh, when it comes to the distributor property. Okay. So let's talk about this third mistake. Now, again, before I uh, show you the mistake, I'm going to have you go ahead and try this problem all on your own. See if you can get this right. Okay, so what would be um, the mistake? Well, here is basically the error. So here we have 3x times 4x squared. Some students, they don't know how to deal with multiplication of the variables. Okay, so let's just kind of write this out. So in other words, they might um, have an answer like, oh, this would be, what well, let me kind of uh, give them a little bit more uh, credit. So they might go, oh, this is 12x squared plus, and then they'll go, oh, maybe this is 6x plus three okay now you can see this is kind of right but this is wrong because the students are not or a student is not familiar with how to multiply variables so let's go ahead and kind of break this down so 3x times 4x squared so this is 3x times 4x squared so in algebra the way you do this multiplication is it's going to be the number times the number, so that's going to give us a 12, right? So that's 12. And then here, I have x times this x squared. Let's kind of do this over here. x times x uh, squared. x squared is what? That's x times x. So x times x squared, which is, of course, x times x, is what? x times x times x, which, of course, is x cubed. Okay, so you got to know how to deal with with powers and exponents oftentimes when you're using the distributive property okay so of course 3x times 4x squared is going to be 12x cubed okay so this is a common mistake students get confused with those powers and exponents so let's go ahead and do this problem correctly so uh you know you're going to have to know those properties of powers and exponents a little bit more advanced problems when it comes to the distributive property all right, so let's go ahead and finish this up. So this is 3x times uh, 4x squared. So what you want to be thinking is, okay, I got numbers times numbers. That's going to be 12. And then you're going to have to really kind of, you know, stop and pause and make sure you understand the power. So this is x to the first times x squared. That gives me x cubed plus this 3x right here being multiplied by 2x, which is going to be what? 6x squared. And then this 3x right here, that's going to be multiplied by that 1. So that's going to be plus uh, 3x, okay? Now, another mistake that sometimes uh, students make is that they don't realize that the distributive property, you can apply whatever number or value that's outside of these parentheses to as many terms that are inside of the parentheses as well, okay? So, but anyways, I kind of don't want to kind of give you too many errors here because, uh, you know, I'm going to give you um, a lot of credit just for watching this video because you're like, well, let me see here, you know, uh, let me see what this guy has to say. Maybe, you know, this will help me out. But look, when we're learning mathematics, you know, even the uh, uh, those top students that always ace everything, when you first start learning anything, of course, you're going to make an error or two. The main idea here is to, um, you know, learn from your mistakes, okay? So if you are making mistakes with the distributive property, you absolutely must correct them. Okay, now if you do need help with the distributive property beyond this and you really want to take a look at some, uh, you know, great examples, full instruction, let me give you a couple recommendations. One, check out like my pre-algebra or Algebra 1 course. I also have additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out. But hopefully this video was exciting and did help you, uh, help you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.